everybody! Welcome to Japanese Cooking Lovers. I am Yuri. Today I will show you how to make Saba no Misoni. I haven't had this one for a long time because I cannot find the uh, macro or the Saba um, around here. It is very good with rice and I am so excited to eat this one tonight. And this is very good. So I will show you how to make it today. Uh, recently, I went to Asian supermarket like five hours from my place, other states uh, Asian store, and I purchased the macro the saba, but it was a frozen one. I thought I'm gonna purchase a uh, roll, which is not frozen one, but saba is oily fish. And if I purchase, I should cook right away. Then I was not planned to do so. So I purchased a frozen one on purposely. So um, today I will show you how to make Saba no misoni. Saba is macro and misoni is uh, miso is inside and cook with it. I use katsu dashi here. I have other video that um, how to make kombu dashi. So if you want to make kombu dashi, please check that video out. You put miso when you finish cooking the fish. Miso is the last ingredient you're gonna put even uh, when you make miso soup. Because miso has good aroma and if you cook too long, you're gonna destroy those aromas. Aroma is uh, always uh, important ingredient when you cook cuisine.
I hope you enjoy my video today. This is how to make Saba no Misoni. This is Japanese cooking lovers and I am Yuri. Thanks for watching and see you next time soon.